anatomy of the vastus lateralis muscle. Origin The vastus lateralis muscle originate from the greater trochanter and from the lateral lip of the linea aspera The muscle loops around the shaft of the femur from posterior to anterior towards its insertion with the quadriceps tendon. Insertion It inserts into the lateral base and border of the patella. It forms the lateral side of the quadriceps tendon. It also forms the lateral patella retinaculum. Innervation, the femoral nerve. The vastus lateralis is part of the quadriceps femoris. Quadriceps femoris is supplied by the femoral nerve. Femoris, femoral. The femoral nerve is L2, 3, and 4. The quadriceps are four muscles. So if we're talking about the vastus lateralis, it's one muscle will be supplied by number two, three, and four. If we talk about the rectus femoris, it is one muscle, it will be supplied by L2 and three and four because it is part of the quadriceps. This may help you in remembering the roots of the femoral nerve. Action is knee extension. The vastus lateralis does not cross the hip, therefore it does not cause hip flexion, unlike the rectus femoris. The descending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery runs between the vastus lateralis and vastus intermedius muscles. This is a cross section of the thigh and you can see the vastus lateralis lies in the anterior compartment of the thigh. The quadriceps femoris muscle group lies in the anterior compartment of the thigh. Posterior medial to the vastus lateralis you will have the intermuscular septum that separate the anterior compartment of the thigh from the posterior compartment of the thigh. The posterior compartment is important because it contains the sciatic nerve. It also has the biceps femoris muscle. In lateral approach to the femur, you can split the vastus lateralis or you can lift the vastus lateralis from the intermuscular septum. Watch for the perforators. There are branches of the profunda femoris artery and they lie deep within the vastus lateralis muscle. You should identify them and ligate them to avoid bleeding. The vastus lateralis muscle flap can be used to fill a cavity after girdle stone procedure. Also, this muscle has a role in balancing the forces during sliding trochanteric osteotomy. When this muscle balances the pulling force of the abductor muscles, which is helpful in avoiding major displacement of the greater trochanter. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.